All right, what I have here is a 2022 GMC Savannah. This is a 2500 series, so it's a three quarter ton chassis. It is the extended chassis. Uh, it is on, a, it is a conversion van by the Explorer Van Company out of Warsaw, Indiana. It is a limited SE with the X package, like most of them that we have are, which means it has all the bells and whistles inside. And I believe the only ones that this one's missing, it does not have a sunroof and it does not have a center console, which that makes the, uh, getting up from the passenger seat and going back to the back while you're moving along a lot easier to do, which some folks really want to do in these vans. So it does not have a center console, does not have a sunroof. Other than that, it is a loaded up SE with the X package. This being a 2022 has 4,500 miles on it right now. We did the service on it, even though it was not even due for its first service yet. Uh, this van, we purchased, the, the customer purchased it from us new, took it back to uh, <clears throat> West Virginia, what I believe it was and his wife would not drive it. it was too big for her so he traded it in on something else and we have it back so we have a practically brand new 2022 with 4500 miles on it i don't believe there's a scratch on this thing i'm getting ready to try and find out um, but it looks to be pretty much almost brand new to me so let's get started on the front here's bronze in color does have the limited se with the x package which means it has all the bells and whistles except those described earlier it does have the front bumper bumper fascia cover as you can see here with the fog lamps and your front bumper step plate so you can clean your windshield off if you happen to hit like a pterodactyl or something while you're on the road um, i can tell you from previous pictures and videos this van does not have any damage on the hood or the front bumper cover there i had to defrost it a little bit this morning it was 14 degrees when i came in so i had to get a little bit of the snow off of it i do shoot these in 1080p so if you see something and you want to zoom in on it a little further you probably should be able to do that with a good picture again i'll point out any damage i do see but i really this van's in excellent shape. It's as close to brand new as you're going to get without it being brand new. Bronze in color. Electronic step boards with the lighted step plates. Two-tone door panels. Does have a tan inside with black. Looks like black or dark brown stitching. I think dark brown. Yep, dark brown. Six captain chairs. Three position sofa. Three person sofa bed there. We have your overhead rear heat and heat and air controls. This is your overhead. And also your switch bank, which controls your lower ceiling cabinet and your fog lamps. If my words are kind of slurring here, I'm not drinking. I swear to God, it's just cold and my lips don't want to move. So there's it. 4,500 miles in the odometer. Here's your uh, trip computer. Uh, you're going to have your navigation with touchscreen. You can see this is an aftermarket unit, much bigger than the factory unit installed by the conversion company front heat and air controls just above that you do have 12 volt power down here along with traction control your airbag you can turn it on or off there's your onstar does have lane change and collision avoidance also 110 volt outlet 5 volt data transfer from the phone to here or from sorry from your phone to your head unit and then of course another 12 volt on the end there for power it does have your three position cup holder here it does have a switch to enable or disable the power running boards and of course your glove box. No center console, like I said, the carpet's tan or tan or brown rather. Uh, it is in great shape. I don't see any staining, any rips, tears, punctures, or anything funky on the upholstery. Full power up front with heat and lumbar. Of course it has the diamond stitch uh, upholstery, which is new, I believe in 2020. Mood lighting, your rear uh, storage does have Vista Bay windows. All your captain's chairs, of course, your four captain's chairs in the rear are swivel and quick release. There's the 4,500 on the odometer there. It does have steering wheel controls and a tilt wheel, obviously. I don't see any damage on the body. So if I go over kind of quickly, it's just because there's nothing here other than to show you the van itself. And again, I shoot these in 1080p. So if you want to slow it down and or stop it somewhere and get closer on something, or if you need me to come out and clarify something, I'll be more than happy to do that see any damage on the van I do like this bronze color i really like it when it is in the sun like that it really shows off the uh, heavy metallic that it does have some dreamtopia going on up there all right in the rear sofa bed everything looks nice and clean here of course you do have your uh blinds on the conversion van Three position power sofa bed that does lay down to a uh, bed. And I'll show you that here in just a second. It adjusts for leg room. On this area back here, it's gonna be 54 inches wide, 24 inches deep. If you move the uh, seat forward, well, 
it'll move up to another six inches. So you got another 30 inches by 54 back here if you do that. Let me see. This is something I, this van here, was. this was custom done. <clears throat> and this is a cover that goes in place and it snaps up just in front of the TV up there and it'll hang so that if you use this as a camper, it'll block anybody from looking in the front windshield towards what you got going on back here. And it looks like he had this made for the van. Very nicely done, but it goes back here as well. And here is the uh, sleeper sofa portion of the van. All right, and on the nine passengers, it gets nice and comfy up there. You can adjust those captain chairs for leg room to give it a little more. And here's the nice part, if you're extra tall, you can use the bed sleeping here, put your feet there, use that captain's chair, swivel it completely around facing you, and you can use another two feet to put your feet on. So it's got plenty of room back here. There's the bed in a full down position. Still got room to put some luggage underneath there. Does have side curtain airbags in the rear. The captain's chairs have the seat belts built into the seats themselves, so no matter, no matter what position you're in, you can be safely seat belted in. All right, and your rear heat and air unit is here, or at least the interior, interior portions of it are behind this panel here. It does have your vacuum, power outlet, and your jack storage there. And if you look in the sun, man, this is, this is, I really like the color. It shows up, not quite like a bass boat, but it shows up. <laughs> This does have the 6.6 .6 liter V8 engine. I also believe that this is gonna be the last of the V8s as far as these vans and the V8 systems go. I do know for 2023, I've been told that the only thing we're getting are 4.3 liters, the all aluminum V6, which has a significant amount more power than it used to. Um, but this V8 is, uh, is a beast. I, I must have turned the uh, switch for my power running boards off because they're not coming down. Just leave it for like that for the moment. I typically don't need them. Let's see here. And, and you have your blinds. They're in great shape. Interior-wise, I'm just going to try and give you an overall. Don't really see any damage. Being uh, as new as it is, you still have your factory warranty left. So it still has some 336 bumper to bumper. It also has part of your five-year 60,000-mile warranty on the powertrain still included. So you're full under full factory GM warranty at Rise Up right now. Of course, these swivel chairs, they do swivel. They do quick release and come out. All you have, oops, sorry about that. I bumped the camera. Anyway, all you have left is this uh, this pod here. And these seats will come out and you'll have nothing left there. All four of the captain's chairs do that. Carpet looks great. I don't have any issues there. Of course, now that it doesn't have a center console, your game console hookup and your DVD player are back here so you got another 110 volt 12 volt hdmi input you can turn the tv speakers on or off and of course there's your dvd player in the sidewall all your captain shares are equipped with car seat tie downs or hold downs in case you're going to be transporting little ones around it does have usb two two charging ports on each side of the van back here again your airbags are just below the vista bay windows it does have some storage in the rear there's your heat and air conditioning vents up top. There's more on the bottoms, usually in the wall down here. Uh, yeah, there's one. Uh, sofa bed looks great. Uh, all the captain's chairs are awesome. They don't have any rip stairs or punctures. The leather looks really nice. Again, this is a uh, close to a brand new van you're gonna get without it actually being brand new and titled. This is the uh, view from the rear sofa bed. Wireless, wireless headphones are included. There's your remotes, your lighted cup holders. Again, 
more blinds. No stains, no rips, no punctures. I don't see any issues. All right, I'm gonna get this uploaded and out. Dave Green at Dave Arbogast Conversion Van Sales, 937-440-5793. Again, 937-440-5793 is my direct extension. Or you can call the store and ask for me. I'm the only Dave in conversion vans. Again, thanks for watching.